I'm Amy Anderson for Option Rally TV. As the year ticks down, the Option Rally news team would like to wish everyone a successful 2014. For today's market highlights for the week of Monday, December 30th, 2013, Wall Street continues its holiday rally. SoftBank interested in acquiring T-Mobile, and the euro hits a two-year high. Let's take a quick look at what is happening in the global markets now. Equities were little changed at the end of a strong week as investors head into the home stretch of what has been a terrific year for Wall Street. For the week, all three indexes advance more than 1%. Trading volume has been below average this week, with many money managers absent for the holidays. Markets have charted big gains this year. The Dow and S&P 500 are both up more than 20%, while the Nasdaq has soared over 30%. The Dow is on track for its best year since 2003, and the S&P 500 on pace for its strongest year since 1997. Several factors have helped spur gains this year, including ongoing economic stimulus from the Federal Reserve, increased confidence in the economy, and solid corporate earnings growth. European markets and Asian markets ended the week on a positive note taking their cues from Wall Street. Mobile phone operator Sprint's shares surged amid ongoing speculation that SoftBank, the Japanese corporation that owns the telecommunications company, is working on a $20 billion bid to buy its rival, T-Mobile. In the Forex markets, the euro jumped to its highest price against the greenback in more than two years on Friday as banks adjusted positions for the year end, while the yen hit five-year lows for a second straight session. The dollar was broadly weaker against most European currencies, including sterling and the Swiss franc. The euro rose as high as 1.3892, the highest since October 2011. For the week, the euro was on pace for a gain of 0.5% against the dollar. The euro rallied 0.7% to 144.45 yen, having hit 145.67 yen, the strongest since October 2008. The dollar rose to 105.14 yen, up 0.4% on the day. Moving to the commodities as the week ends, sentiments across various commodities continue to be range-bound with below average volumes. Despite a recent upbeat economic release from the U.S., which supported the general sentiment that the Federal Reserve will continue with the withdrawal of monetary stimulus through through 2014, gold and silver prices held on to modest gains. Gold edged to its highest point in five days and is trading near 12.13 a troy ounce. Similarly, silver also edged higher by 1%. In the energy segment, crude oil futures are hovering near the highest point in nine weeks after a larger drop in inventory pushed crude oil to trade above the $100 price level. This is Amy Anderson from Option Rally signing off as we count the days to the new year. I want to wish all of my viewers a great 2014. Follow me on Facebook and watch for more of Amy in 2014.